In space, no one can hear you scream. But that doesn't mean that there isn't anything out there to be discovered. The Voyager spacecraft has just discovered something in space that has shocked the entire industry. Researchers from all across the world are trying to decipher its composition and discover how it came to be. Especially in the context of the solar system and outer space, these anomalies have captivated the interest of scientists, leading many of them to devote their careers to investigating and explaining them. Explorations across the solar system were made more enlightening and available to everyone thanks to the brilliant and award-winning technology that was invented and used to investigate our enormous galaxy. The Voyager is one example of these achievements. It is a famous spacecraft that has been majestically orbiting the Earth for 45 years. Amazing technology has helped astronomers learn more about our home planet and the other planets in the solar system, but it recently sent a puzzling message back to Earth. Just what is this fantastic new gadget? What did it find in the cosmos? And how will the message's contents shape NASA's legacy and the course of human events on Earth? Come with us as we delve into the message the explorer sent to scientists on Earth and the treasures it discovered. When NASA's Voyager project was launched in 1977, it was under the direction of American scientists who built and programmed two robotic interstellar probes known as Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. The launch of these probes was prompted by a favorable alignment between Jupiter and Saturn and they are programmed to approach the planets closely in order to send back data. Following liftoff, a second choice was made to send Voyager 2 on an exploration mission to Neptune and Uranus, with the intention of relaying information back to NASA's scientists and engineers. Ten scientific instruments were installed on both spacecraft. These included a pair of cameras for imaging, a magnetometer, various spectrometers, and a detector for low-energy charged objects and particles that work in tandem with high-energy cosmic rays. With the use of the spacecraft's communication systems, the Voyager program mission team has undertaken 11 separate scientific experiments on each probe. The initial cost of the Voyager program was an astounding $865 million, and the addition of the Voyager interstellar mission cost an additional $30 million, bringing the grand total to $895 million. Both crafts are outfitted with a golden gramophone record depicting how to play the record and containing data indicating the location of Earth. In June 2012, it was discovered that Voyager 1 had virtually passed the heliopause and was heading out into interstellar space. In September 2013, NASA announced that Voyager 1 has been the first spacecraft to cross heliopause into interstellar space on August 25, 2012. The second spacecraft, Voyager 2, joined Voyager 1 in entering interstellar space on November 5, 2018 after a little delay. If you send a signal to Voyager 1 and expect it to return, you'll have to wait around 21.5 hours, according to the calculations. To put it in perspective, this distance amounts to 14 billion kilometers away from Earth. On August 5, 2012, Voyager 2 was 12.1 billion miles from Earth and 19.4 billion kilometers from the Sun. Absolutely incredible, right? Recent information on the robotic interstellar probes from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory indicates that Voyager 1 is currently speeding through space at a velocity of 17,000 kilometers per second. However, Voyager 1 recorded several anomalies when both interstellar probes passed through the heliopause and entered deep space, and a recent message to NASA scientists was reportedly quite terrifying. It has been 45 years since the certified spacecraft Aura was launched into space, and as the spacecraft continues its system operations into deep space, scientists have noticed some strange system readouts coming from the attitude articulation and control systems of the legendary spacecraft Voyager 1. It appeared that the spaceship's orientation and movement were out of sync. This prompted people to conclude that Voyager 1 doesn't know where it is in the galaxy. Since the spacecraft's articulation and control system is responsible for relaying information about its environment to NASA, the assumption was made that the failure to do so constituted a serious setback. In 1984, just after finishing college, Suzanne Dodd began working as a project manager on the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California. A mystery like this is sort of run for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission, she recalls. In addition, she mentioned that the spacecraft's ages were well above what the mission plan had anticipated. Data and tests sent back from Voyager 2, the probe's identical twin, showed that all of its systems were operating normally. NASA scientists have concluded 
that Voyager 1's attitude articulation and control system is sending them data that is created at random. However, this information does not provide a complete picture of what is taking place on board the interstellar spacecraft. The computer system is in charge of Voyager 1's orientation, which includes keeping the antenna pointing toward Earth so that NASA can keep receiving data from Voyager 1, and it is also in charge of the spacecraft's thrusters. The only comprehensible signals are the telemetry ones, and they're either coming out as a string of zeros or the number 377. However, Dodd assured everyone that the spacecraft is fine because the system problem hasn't caused the old spacecraft to enter safe mode. They should have detected a decline in our signal from the spacecraft if it were in poor condition, but they didn't. She continued, but one thing I was certain of was that the Voyager 1 would continue to be operated before explaining that the diagnosis would be done in two steps, the first of which would be determining the root cause of the problem, as that would determine whether to reset anything on the spacecraft or to switch to some of the backup hardware. NASA's investigation and intervention revealed that the attitude articulation and control system had been sending telemetry data through a computer that was known to have stopped functioning years ago, corrupting the information. After realizing this was the case, the team decided to try a drastic measure in an attempt to resolve the issue. They issued a command to the attitude articulation and control system, instructing it to resume transmitting data back to the correct computer as it had been doing before. Since the method was successful in resolving the issue and restoring the interstellar probe's systems to normal operation, and data was successfully relayed to the intended computer. It is still unclear to engineers why the AACS started sending telemetry data to the wrong computer, although a defective command from another onboard computer is being blamed. That would prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the problem was not originating in one particular area of the spaceship. The crew wouldn't give up until they discovered what was causing the erroneous readings, but they're confident that the problem didn't pose any danger to Voyager 1's long-term well-being or future. Dodd added in a statement, We're glad to have the telemetry back. We'll check out everything the AACS has been up to by reading out its memory in its entirety. That'll be big assistance as we try to figure out what went wrong with the telemetry in the first place. Therefore, we have some cause for cautious optimism while further research is required. The famous artificial interstellar robotic probes have been in orbit for 45 years, reporting back to scientists, engineers, and NASA with information about our special solar system. Currently, the two probes are in interstellar space, which is a region beyond the heliopause that no spacecraft has ever entered. Nevertheless, Voyager 1 and 2 are breaking records and making history. And that brings us to the end of the video. Feel free to let us know what you think about this video. And if you like this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content.